हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इजी लर्न स्टैंडर्ड सेवन साइंस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज इफ यू लाइक दिस टू सब्सक्राइब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द नोटिफिकेशंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट अ वैल्यू एंड अट आई यूज टू एक्सप्रेस द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ अ फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी second mass is a scalar quantity third weight is a vector quantity fourth the amount of matter present in a substance is called mass question number 2 match the columns answer velocity meter per second area square meter volume liter mass kilogram density kilogram per cubic meter question 3 explain the following terms a scalar quantity a quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude alone is called a scalar quantity example quantities such as length breadth area mass temperature density time work etc b vector quantity the quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given is called a vector quantity example displacement velocity etc question 4 explain giving examples the errors that occur during measurement answer the errors occurring during measurement are as follows first instrumental errors these errors arises when the instrument used for measurement is damaged or faulty example ruler with broken edges second observational errors this error arises when the reading in the instrument is noted correctly not noted correctly example if the tip of the pencil does not coincide with the zero of the scale then we get this error third theoretical errors this error is caused by simplification of model system fourth environmental errors this error arises when the instrument used for measurement is damaged due to environmental factors like temperature pressure etc answer the following questions first what is the difference between mass and weight answer mass first point the amount of matter present in a substance is called mass weight the gravitational force that acts on this mass is called its weight second mass is a scalar quantity weight is a vector quantity mass does not change from place to place anywhere in the world weight is different at different places on earth the si unit of mass is kilogram the si unit of weight is newton second what precautions will you take to make accurate measurements in day to day life answer following precautions are to be taken to make accurate measurements in day to day life first the device used for measurement should be appropriate and properly working second the device should be used properly third the device should have stamp of standardization by the department of weights and measures 3 to 4 readings should be taken for accuracy in measurement third why is the weight of the same object different on different planets answer weight is the gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its center as the gravitational force is different on different planets the weight is different 
few reasons first it is not proper to measure quantities by using body parts as units answer the body part of each and every person differs for measurements it is necessary to use standard measures using body parts as units will be different for each and every person thus the results will be inaccurate therefore it is not proper to measure quantities using body parts second it is necessary to get the weights and measures standardized at regular intervals answer the weights and the weighing apparatus are usually made up of metals second because of difference in physical conditions from place to place the reference chosen as units for weights and measures varies third due to continuous use they may lose their standardization thus it is necessary to get the weights and measures standardized at regular intervals complete the following tables physical quantity mass in the mk system the unit is kilogram in the cgs system it is gram distance meter centimeter time seconds seconds speed meter per second and centimeter per second quantity length unit meter symbol m mass kilogram kg time seconds s thank you